Fabulous Forgetful Friends group is a local group managed by Together Dementia Support. Part of the reason for Fabulous Forgetful Friends is to change people's perceptions about people with dementia, to show that we can still do plenty. We've got plenty of ability, talents, mm. um, and people living positively. Mm. Members of Fabulous Forgetful Friends were invited by the Whitworth Art Gallery to participate in a project called Beyond Dementia. Phil not only designed the T-shirt, he also designed a poster reflecting album covers of the music that he loves. Other members produce different works of art depending on their own interests and their own backgrounds. It involved our members going to the Whitworth Art Gallery, doing art workshops, getting to know the collections there and curating an exhibition which we called Beyond Dementia. In May of this year, four of us decided to enter the Manchester 10K. So I signed us up and then asked for volunteers, didn't I? Yes, yes. Phil, why, why would you say that you were willing to do it? Well, well it's for a good cause and um, obviously um, we could, with, with our t-shirts and all that, we could say to people, this is what we're doing. Yes. So but, you designed the t-shirt, didn't you? Dementia, your one says, dementia yeah. sucks, yeah. but we're licking it. So yeah. that's a sort of positive message we want to give mm -hmm. people. One of our members, Teresa, is a keen runner anyway, and Phil was willing to have a go, along with Leslie and myself. This is Connie. Connie was diagnosed with dementia about two years ago, but from the time she was diagnosed, she's tried to stay positive and keep active. And every day she goes to Costa Coffee in Chalton on her scooter. She's made great friends with the staff there and they love to see her. Her other reason for going is so that she can read her newspaper undisturbed. And she's very keen to do that to keep herself mentally stimulated. I do lots of things and um, I, I go on trips and um, walking, I love walking, did a long walk yesterday um, and I really like everything and I just like going outside. I think when you've got a bit of dementia, you're better to get out and meet people and speak to them. It, keep, it grounds your reality, you know, a bit. Because I know when I've been out, I always feel better. Routine was quite important and I stopped worrying about stupid things, you know, little things that, you know, neither here nor there, really. And I tried to do things that, I, I, that were stressless, you know, like, like fairly easy for me. I would say fill your life with happiness, as much happiness as you can get in it. You know, fill it up with things you like to do, you know, as, as, as much as you can and look for things that you might like to try. Ronnie Before was invited to give the opening speech the at the opening of the Beyond Dementia exhibition at the Whitworth. In his speech, he read one of his poems called The Forgotten. This passage of time you cannot control. Some days are good, some days are bad. This invisible illness is so sad. So look at life and you will see how it can change both you and me. Struggling to capture the present from my future. Had a thought and then it's gone. My mental camera will not stay on. The lights are on, but no one at home. The family are here, but you still feel so alone. Woke up this morning and all I could see was a blue grey mist in front of me. Waiting, hoping pictures will stay to stop sands of time slowly trickling away. So theft of thought and the right words to say, many past and present memories have gone away. So with your support in our lives, let's educate our communities to understand. We've now got a great group here in Manchester and we want everyone to know about it so that we can help more people. If you work in the field of health or social care, please remember us and tell your patients about us. I know how difficult it is to find out what services are out there. I also know that if you're feeling down, you need someone to give you encouragement or a kick up the backside. Our group belongs to a national network of groups called The Deep Network. 
This means that we can join in events across the country and meet up with even more fabulous people if we want. We have a lot of laughter together. We give talks and meet with professionals to give our views about dementia services. We organise social outings and have fun. Fabulous Forgetful Friends has made such a difference to all of us. So I'm asking you, go on, give it a try. I hope that this film has shown you that life doesn't end with a diagnosis of dementia. We've all got interesting and fulfilling lives to lead.